If an engine fails during climb to an FMS CDU cruise altitude higher than the maximum engine out altitude, the maximum altitude is automatically transferred to the cruise altitude line. Line selecting Climb Direct deletes all altitude constraints between the current altitude and the MCP displayed altitude. The climb speed schedule remains the same. Remember, all modifications must be executed with the Execute key before they will become active. Question. Answer A is correct. Let's discuss the cruise page. The N1 line displays the N1 required to maintain the target airspeed at the cruise altitude. The step size line defaults to the ICAO interval. The flight crew can enter any interval in whole thousands from 1 to 9,000 feet. Deleting the entered interval reverts to the ICAO interval of 4,000 feet. Fuel predictions are predicated on the step size line. Therefore, if you are not going to climb, put in zero for a more accurate fuel prediction. The step two line displays the next cruise altitude or step altitude. The step two altitude is the next ICAO standard altitude or step interval that was entered but cannot exceed the maximum altitude at the step point. The FMC computes altitude step points based on the entered step size, which results in minimum trip cost. The step altitude is either cruise altitude and step size interval, or the planned step altitude entered on the legs page. If a step two altitude is displayed, the at line is displayed. ETA and distance to the next step climb point is displayed on the at line. In review, the performance predictions are computed on the basis of step climbs taking place. If the crew does not accomplish the planned climb, the FMC will still calculate performance numbers as if they had. The FMC normally computes altitude step points based on the entered step size. However, planned steps allow the pilot to specify step point altitudes at flight plan waypoints on the legs page by entering the step altitude with the letter S after the altitude. The FMC then computes performance predictions and optimal steps after that planned step. The destination ETA fuel line displays FMC computed ETA and destination fuel based on following the entered VNAV profile. The optimum and maximum altitudes represent the optimum altitude for fuel burn and the maximum altitude for rate of climb. Line selecting long range cruise displays the long range cruise page. The long range cruise page provides a means of evaluating or changing the long range cruise mode. Line selecting and executing engine out displays the engine out long range cruise page if the current altitude is at or below the maximum engine out altitude. The maximum engine out long range cruise altitude and engine out long range cruise speed are displayed. Line selecting and executing engine out speed when an engine out VNAV page is active 
displays the computed speed and altitude for minimum drag. Find selecting and executing engine out displays the long range cruise drift down page if the current altitude is above the maximum engine out altitude. The FMC automatically sets the cruise altitude line to the maximum engine out long range cruise altitude and the engine out long range cruise speed is displayed. The airplane will maintain current altitude. Airspeed will decrease until a descent is initiated. Setting a lower altitude in the MCP altitude window and pushing the altitude selector deletes the current altitude constraint and initiates a long-range cruise drift down. The airplane descends to the maximum sustainable altitude using maximum continuous power. Now, let's discuss a VNAV descent. descent page enables the pilot to revise and evaluate the descent profile. The end of descent point is displayed for the lowest altitude constraint from the legs page. At is displayed to the left of the next constraint waypoint. The airspeed and altitude constraints are displayed. In this example, at Ruble, the constraints are 250 knots and 6,000 feet. Line Selecting Forecast displays the Descent Forecasts page. The Entered Arrival procedure is used to establish the QNH transition level. The value can be changed by the flight crew. A thermal anti-ice on altitude can be entered for an altitude where the use of thermal anti-ice is expected to occur. For up to four altitudes along the descent route, wind direction and airspeed can be entered. These enable the FMC to more accurately define the computed descent profile. Line selecting off-path descent displays the off-path descent page. The off-path descent page provides the means for the flight crew to evaluate the descent requirements to proceed from present position direct to the descend to point and obtain the altitude associated with the descend to point. The descend to line displays the waypoint with the lowest altitude constraint. The descend to point is used to define the energy management circles and can be changed by the flight crew. The distance to go line displays the distance from the airplane to the lowest altitude constraint waypoint. The speed altitude line displays the computed speed and altitude at the descend to point. These values can be changed by the flight crew. The clean and drag energy management circles are displayed on the off path descent page. Using the display line select key, displays the clean and drag energy management circles for an idle descent on the navigation display. A second push removes the energy management circle display. The clean circle line displays the distance from the current position to the clean energy management circle. Prior to passing the clean circle line, an idle descent can be made to attain the altitude associated with the descend to waypoint. In the example, the airplane is two miles past the clean circle line. The drag circle line displays the distance from current position 
to the drag energy management circle. Prior to passing the drag circle line, an idle descent with speed brakes can be made to attain the altitude associated with the descend to waypoint. The drag circle is only displayed when the airplane is within the clean circle. In this example, the airplane is 12 miles from the drag line.